And good afternoon. I'm Alan Cook, the proud owner of the Medion, a diary of Leonardo da Vinci's works. They are both magnificent, beautiful models, and they are just a stunning, just stunning painting of Leonardo da Vinci's works. It is a diary of his entire life is in this. I have a lot of YouTubes for you to catch up and watch. You need to pass it on to your friends and give a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that notification bell because what I have today is going to excite you as much as it excited me. It took the whole day out of me out of seven years of finding for me to set this up for you for this short little run. I don't know if it's going to be 15 minutes. I don't know if it's going to be a half hour. But I'm telling you what you do see out of it. It's going to be the truth. Nothing's been altered. So this is absolutely the younger Mona Lisa. She is gorgeous. The world knows about her. She is in her teens. And she had to grow up. She had to grow up to be a mature woman. And when she did, she became my woman. Over here that Leonardo da Vinci painted. The older, more mature Mona Lisa that he loved. He loved her. He smelt her. He tasted her. He felt every vain pumping in her. He painted her trillions of times. He couldn't breathe without her. He couldn't see without her. He had to paint her until he died. And this is the older, more mature Mona Lisa. More than you can tell somebody how much you love them. And I hope that I can show you or tell you the best way possible. Now, in the Mona, in this Mona, they found this x-ray that is behind my man turned sideways, this x-ray. And it so happens to be, and it looks like this. And it's a little longer. I'll just cut it down for you. That's what it looks like. This is the x-ray they pulled out of the Mona. I've taken that x-ray and I turned it and pulled some of the colors so it highlights. Now you're going to see these lines here, how they're going to match up with my man's jaw. Also you're going to see this circle that I wrote a G that also has his nose brim his mustache curve and the flip of his mustache written in here. Watch. When I go to put my man up in here, the G, this little G that I'll zoom in for you, fits perfectly in there and you can see when I move the nose, you can see how it flips. You can see the mustache, how it flows and curves. Look how it fits right in there and the nose and you're going to see that G I promise you and the reason why I made these lines because he makes his paintings move see in between each line is a lighter brim so it fits it fits it fits and continues because Leonardo da Vinci did a flip book in a painting a flip book back then was a TV without it being plugged into the wall. You gotta excuse me on some of my arthritis lines of trying to get it right. But you know, that's what happens when you get sick or ill or older. So here you go, choom 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 choom. Now watch. I'm gonna zoom for this for you to see that there is a G. You see that G right there? I'm going to zoom for you, okay, my friends? I hope you hit that notification bell, the subscribe button, and the thumbs up. 
You see the G? That's a Leonardo da Vinci. And the reason G is because Giovanni, that was the model. He was also the model for, okay, Jesus Christ. Here it is. But let me show you the G. I'm asking you to subscribe. But I got to have a little help from heaven, a little Jesus there. But let me show you. It's the same model. Take the mustache off my man, and they're the same. Okay? As you can see, they are the same. Now, I'm going to show you the G that was overlaid in my works here that I put. So, I'm going to open this up. See it? See the G? <laughs> right there. Okay, now watch. I circled it. See how much I circled it? It's in there. Look how tiny that thing had to be. Wow. What is something? I'm going to also show you some of his jokes and his trips because see, he even makes a G up here. But still, nevertheless, this is what we're going to concentrate on for you to see. So he keeps moving and repainting his works. And as you can see, he gives these eyes and a face and he gives you, he gives these endos. So Leonardo da Vinci is very tricky. So this isn't where it just stops. We have just started, my friends, because this is history. Now, again, we're going to put this off to the side. I hope I don't screw up on what I'm trying to show you. But this is the Mona Lisa, upside down. Whoops, sorry. Upside down. And you can see how I got marked there, the G. Well, because hidden in this G is his works and he does fives a lot and you can actually see how he has this big five here and he uses that five as an s for sali and i do believe it's not s a l a i i do believe it's s u a l a i and i'll show you but i could just with leo's work he changes his letterings now this is the x-ray that is out of my painting and I marked the G. And so this is my man's face and it runs down. But he spells out his lover's name, Saul. It looks like a U to me. And I L A I. Sole. And so you overlay these two wrong way, excuse me. I've done it before. So you guys who are with me knows that I and there you got the perfect fit. The perfect fit that he hides. Now, if you take a look in here, he spells out this word. I'm still unclear of what it is, but it, but it's obviously in code, and it looks like a G R E L E, and it continues. But it also looks like it's hidden with words over the top that could easily be spelled Giovanni. But I'm not sure what it truly is at this time. But I do know the G matches. And here it goes. When it does do this, and it comes over, you can see the overlay of where the S is in here and how he hides in here his long L and he hides the curvature of an S that floats through here. He, that's how hard it is for this man, for, for me to, to, to tell you of his works. Now, when I put this down, now I just showed you two major finds. One out of the x-ray they pulled out of the Mona Lisa and the Mona Lisa's x-ray itself before they got to the image of Sali. Now, this is, okay, Leonardo da Vinci's comics. See, he is so hard to read. If you really look at it, look, like a woman's legs here. And it comes up and there's a little guy's body here. But then if you follow it, it goes on up and it's got the little doggy with another cartoonish face. 
another cartoonish face and this is the way Leo is he's having a blast painting and if you do a screenshot you can see so much you can see these images over here he hides images over the top of images so to stop for me deviating too much remember each unit in which I pull is going to have a uh, well, different uh, items which you can see. But here is the G again that is in there. I'll zoom in for you to see. And I don't have it marked, so you gotta excuse me on that. But it is, it is in there, hidden in his works, the G hidden in his works. Here it goes across, down, around, and boom. Right next to the five. And so that's the way he is. He overlays and cheats to make it difficult for you to do a read. It is that hard. And I, forgive me, uh, Supergirl, I know I wasn't supposed to deviate from the actual facts of showing, um, get carried away. But this is the x-ray. It is the same, if you take a look at this man over here, his face, that is the same image in which we were talking about. And if you look here, right there, that's his face. All this black with an eye and an eye and a nose and a mouth, and it continues. And he moves it over here and here. That is the same guy in, in the painting because Leonardo da Vinci makes his paintings move. Also, on top of that, we have showed you this image that has the G that is in the Mona upside down. And then I showed you where the I, the I of the G is right there. Boom. Okay, that is, that, that, that I is probably about mm, maybe a half of a grain of sand. Okay, if that, and then again, this is the x-ray, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. This is the x-ray that they pulled out of the Mona, which I showed you. And again, this is Jesus Christ that looks just like my man. And I really would love for you guys, again, to please, 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 please subscribe I know that I probably am supposed to speak slower and I was advised to so she can ask you with the special billboard that if you can subscribe you be doing us a nice kind loving blessing favor and with that I like you to again note that this is absolutely she is absolutely the older, more mature Mona Lisa. She had to grow up. And this so happens to be the younger Mona Lisa that obviously had to grow up. And with that, he painted his love. And as you can see, they're the same. They're all the same. And with that, listen, you guys, I want to say extremely from my heart, you guys have been great on your subscribing. You've been great on passing the word. You've been great on passing the word of the Lord. And you've been great, great, great on your great, beautiful comments. They've been beautiful. I thank you for everything. And I, I wish you all happiness. And uh, this, this is still making me stutter. And I apologize if I didn't get it clear enough. I am working my best to, to be a good teacher. And I hope you guys are all going to be able to teach others about this great works. And with that, I would like you to do social distance. Mm -hmm. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. Okay, 
don't forget to say your prayers and make God, uh, whoops, excuse me, and don't, thumbs up, excuse me, thumbs up, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> hit the notification bell, and subscribe with that broken finger, put that splint on that finger for me that you've been doing, and you hit that button, and you pass the word, and you call all your friends, get that phone out, call all your friends, I'm gonna call you all, man, you can't believe this, there is a magnificent, older, beautiful Mona Lisa, and at the end of this YouTube, there is a cartoon Mona Lisa that will say that she loves you. And she was done by this beautiful, cool Supergirl that works for me. She has got a heart of gold. And I want you guys, listen, again, say your prayers. Okay? Love you all. Stay safe. Amen.